Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to be taking on Hasbro's G.I. Joe Transformer Crossover. In this box, you get Decepticon Megatron as a his tank, and you get the Baroness Retro Style O Ring figure. Oh, I got this from Amazon, and this is how they sent it to me. Pretty much destroyed box. So, anyway, keeping this as a collector's piece, just not happening. So, let's take a look at the packaging, and we'll have to hold this camera for the most part because. It's a large box. Here we have the Transformers logo, more than meets the eye, done in the Decepticon colors. Decepticon logo. Here we have Megatron. It's pretty cool. Kind of get that G1 look to Megatron. Nameplate. These are recommended for ages 8 and above. Here's the G.I. Joe side. We do have the Baroness picture there. That is some nice artwork of the Baroness. I do like that design of her at least his tank it looks fantastic it looks vintage style with the megatron upgrade here are the back of the box we have the his tank on one side then we have megatron as robot and the baroness below him we have the gi joe the transformers this 2022 gi joe transformers crossover logo they created pretty nice looking back of the box at least Here's the side of the box as the product images of Megatron Robot Mode, Alt Mode, His Tank, and the Baroness. And then we have the G.I. Joe logo, Megatron His Tank on this side. On the bottom we do have that um, logo they created for 2022 G.I. Joe and Transformer logo. A bunch of legal information here. My torn box. All in terrible condition thanks to Amazon and here you can see my corner just ripped it's the other side of the box and here's the other side of the box all worn Amazon just don't care I think as you can see here these actually just separate kind of like this you remove them you can see the two pieces it would have been a nice collector's piece to have but um, unfortunately, it's just too damaged for me to keep. Here's the inner box. Front. The back. Pretty cool Cobra Secret Files. Here's the bottom or top. One of the two. And here's the outside. It's just a flip up box. I'm sure if I can grab it with one hand. Kind of just opens like this. And here's the inside of the box. Megatron and part forming his tank and here's the back of it you can see your file card or I should say your carded figure not your file card how it's packaged right there and some of the other parts of Megatron and his tank okay here's a look at all the contents that we get straight out of the box so I guess to get the Mega trying to stand you just gotta kind of pop out his feet here you see that and then yep he stands but he's so big it's hard to keep him into the it feels hollow in my opinion very like waffly feel to it here are the back of the his tank nice painted on the cobra insignia Stand your figures there. I mean, I think it's going to fit the part as a his tank with your collection if that's what you're going for. I'm betting that that's going to be the real prize here the uh, his tank mode. This is all painted on here 363 Kobe Insignia, the GH7C. Here's the cockpit for the gunner. Here's our it's not as clear as I was going like a frosted color this under piece it doesn't like this is removable like the uh, normal his tanks so but it does rotate at least and it was backwards so I guess this is where our cannons go common sense right so there's this push in like so and I must say as we work towards getting there if I can get this to go in this piece is Megatron's K 
tendon and it is smaller than I expected and you can always put that here which is nice for a super cannon on, mounted on your his tank for whiting scale I think that's a good feature I think that's what I'm gonna go for I'm more or less gonna be a his tank for me that has a super plasma cannon or something on it uh, for for my um, his tank brigade but that is quite smaller than I expected in his waffle too <laughs> This thing, these things cost like $89, and this is what we get. Sorry guys, that just irritates me. That doesn't, nothing works on there, nothing moves. Anything like that, so. There's that complete piece. And I'm guessing this just goes on the back here somehow. We'll take a look at that here, and as we take a look at the his tank part, um, let's take a look at Megatron. Okay, here's Megatron. I must say it looks pretty good for me. I'm a big G1 fan myself. Um, so the head sculpt, it does fit the aesthetic. The red eyes, the black eyebrows. You can see that the face is kind of separate from the helmet piece here. So you can see the indentations and stuff. He can move his head up and down, side to side, all the way around. Here's the back of it. We do have the Decepticon logo there. Some red pieces right there. So, then we have some of the robot red and light blue lights. We have a clip there on his chest. Here on the side, the his tank, we have the painted on 788 in that little his tank symbol there that we used to see in from the classic uh, his tanks. Same for this side. And here's our back, as you can see. Hollow tankness, hollow here. This is a $90 toy, guys. $90. It's the back of him, all the hollowness. I know it's a transformer, but it's like, jeez. I mean, look at some of those masterpieces that are 100 bucks. You know, you should can get a back piece. You can't display Megatron in robot mode from the back. This looks terrible like this. A lot of people have their ups and downs with their part forming transformers. Everybody thinks that, and I agree, I'm with them on the part to where all your pieces should fit on your robot. No part forming. That's my opinion, just as others. And if you have an, a different opinion, that's okay too. But that's just my opinion and what I like to see. Um, for robot mode, I don't guess we're going to leave his arms all the way up like this if you wanted to. Um, does this actually clip there? Yeah, I guess it can. So, well, it's supposed to go there. Maybe not. Take a little notch there. I guess you can. I don't want to force it and break it. Probably we have bendable elbows. We have a rotation here, 360. Uh, the hands, nope, they're sculpted solid. There's no rotation at all. And so they're not even folding back. You can see here, into here. So what is this point? If these don't fold back into there. <sighs> you can't even paint that side. Oh boy. So, let's see what else we got here. No articulation there. And that's the treads. Here's his legs. No waist swivel or nothing like that. We can do some splits with Megatron. Pretty good for that part. There's some swivel there. Not no bendable knees, nothing. We've seen this part. And I think that's all the articulation there is. So what is that? One, maybe two, three, four, five, six pieces. He's pretty much almost a 5 POA. <sighs> Not cool. Uh, yeah, the robot isn't the greatest. Um, he feels very hollow. It doesn't feel like he's cheap plastic. It's just it's, it's a harder plastic, but it's it's the bare minimum that they can get out of this piece. Alright, so I went ahead and took a look and see how the main housing unit of the his tank attaches the Megatron 
just behind the head, there's like a little hinge. And you basically just do this. It kind of just like six sits outward like that. Now this piece, see if I can do it without popping everything off. The canopy piece can stick straight out, but you're supposed to fold it down, I guess. And that's supposed to make it better. Talking about some serious back cable. And then you gotta turn the turrets around to make it on the back of his head, and you can bring down the cannons like so to put your figure in. Um, I'm not gonna, you can see this little baroness goes in there behind Megatron's head, and then you can find this is going to see it goes on his hand, it's not even on his forearm, it's on his hand. You put his cannon on his hand like this. Wow, that's uh, that's a, that's a shame. I just like one of the not only like the Haslab is a dream thing. Like, you had to do a transform crossovers is like a dream of a lot of collectors. And this is what we get. Gotta cut cost and give you junk for your money. Um, so you have the last piece. Of the box uh, is this is the back of his tank there's nowhere on his person that he use this as a shield you're supposed to put it in his hand if it even fits somehow it's a shield piece I'm sure if it goes on if there's enough clearance there oh wait you can put it on the side too See the hole right there. See if I can get it in. Anyway, upside down, inside out. Who knows? But that's a shield piece right there. And then I actually just knock it off. We can do that swivel on his arm. Bring that piece around. Let's try to put it this way. Kind of gets in the way if you put it this way. So you gotta put it upside down to uh, get the clearance for it to stay. Cause it hits the other housing. So that's your shield. So that's your Megatron. <laughs> so there he is. All together. Wow. Oh, um, it's not, it actually stands. One thing about that, it's not back heavy. So that's not too bad. go so I'll go ahead and uh, hold the camera get a better angle of him and uh, see what it looks like okay there he is of course you're gonna remove the cannons if you don't like the cannons there shot his head but that's the uh, his tank aesthetic, I guess. Here he is from the side. Here he is from the back. And the other side. There's this cannon, very small. Well, at least with the uh, back of this thing, the big old kibble, you can hide all that emptiness that's in there. So, there it is. All right, for the paperwork, you get this. We've never seen this before, right? And then the instruction sheet. There's what it looks like. I'll show you this. You can pause it through different sections if you need to. So here we got this piece. And then we unfold it again. You 
got this. Or some more. Okay, for some more. And then the alternate side. Okay, so that's your uh, instructions. It's kind of like a black and white, purplish color. So, so this is part one of my review, robot mode and paperwork. In part two, we'll be taking a look at the his tank in vehicle mode and the Baroness action figure. So don't forget to check that part out. Um, I'm not gonna transform him online, or on the video at least. Um, just. There's a lot of people that do that better than me. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm sure it's uh, not that hard. So don't forget to join me in part two. Hope you guys like this start of our review. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on our next review.